Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom tool inside of Letta that also uses custom PyPy packages. So if you're not familiar with Letta, um, Letta will actually execute tools for you um, inside of the cloud. But in order to do this, we actually do this inside of a sandbox um, tool execution environment. So you can actually customize both the PyPy packages and then also the environment variables um, that are configured in that environment so that your tools can have access to those things while it's running. So here I've already instantiated my Letta client um, in Python, and I'm just gonna copy over um, a custom tool I made. So this is basically a EXA search tool. Um, so I have a doc string for it, which basically allows the Letta server to automatically parse uh, JSON, um, the JSON, uh, or tool JSON from this. Um, so this will basically, you know, tell the LLM like kind of what this tool is. So there's a description. So search the web using XAI, uh, the arguments. So like the query, what we actually want to query, number of results. Um, yeah, include text, ba basically, um, yeah, these uh, parameters that XA needs. And I also want to note that we're actually inside of the tool doing these imports. So when we actually pass this tool to Letta, we're passing the source code of this function um, and basically running that inside of the sandbox. So unless we put these imports inside of the tool or inside of the file that we're uploading, um, it's not going to have access to these imports. So you need to make sure that you do the imports inside of the tool or inside of the file if you're uploading a file as a tool. Um, and then, yeah, this XAPI package is, is basically a custom package. So I'll show you guys like how you can actually include that when you create the tool. And X, this will also use uh, an XA API key environment variable, which we will set when we create the agent. So first let's uh, create the tool. So the tool is, I'm just gonna use an upsert um, just in case I already have a tool named this. Uh, oh yeah, and then I need to do, um, we need to actually upload the source code. Um, and then we also wanna uh, specify the pip requirements. Um, so here we're specifying which package we want and then also what version that we want. And so that's it. This will basically give you back a tool object that has the JSON schema, um, the tool source code, the tool ID, everything that you need um, from that tool. And once we create that tool, we actually wanna also create the agent. Um, so let's create an agent that will use this. So. Uh, I have pretty aggressive autocomplete. Um, but yeah, you can basically see uh, in this example, we're just creating some basic human persona memory blocks. Actually, let's just take out persona. Um, passing in the tool via the tool ID. Um, and then we also pass in um, the tool execution environment variables. So this environment variable I've actually already set um, in my local environment. Um, but yeah, we obviously need to pass this in into the tool execution environment vari variables because otherwise this agent, when it's executing the tool, won't have access to the secrets that it needs. So basically um, this secret will be passed in um, into here so that by the time this tool is actually executing, um, that environment variable will be set with the secret that we need. Um, yeah, and then we can kind of initialize this with just sending it a message. Um, so we'll just send it, you know, basic message. Let's uh, say search for information about Letta agents. Um, and yeah, now I'll just try writing this. So I just ran the script and I now have this agent that I can go and view um, inside of Letta Cloud. So you can see uh, this unique agent ID, um, which I got back when I in my print statement and I just pasted that in um, to find this agent. And yeah, you can see, um, you know, this agent has been created. Uh, we got a user message that was a message we sent, which is search for information about Letta agents. It calls the access search tool. Um, so you can see the output of the access search tool. There's also, you can also see the logs and the error logs. In this case, there were none, but if you had some um, issues, you could see that. And you can see in here that the query that it's making is both those queries that we specified, um, but we actually also have a special argument inside of Letta, which is the request heartbeat argument. This is the argument that we add to give the agent the ability to um, control its own control loop. So basically, if request heartbeat is true, then the agent will continue executing. If it's false, then it's going to stop. So in this case, it was true, so it's going to keep going. And then it got the search results, and so here it's kind of summarizing back the results. So we can also go see the custom exit tool that we just made in this, inside of the tool manager. So I'll go to custom tools. Our org has a lot, so I'll have to search. 
And so yeah, you can see basically this um, custom access search tool that we made on the client side and that source code has been copy pasted into here or not copy pasted, but uploaded into here. Um, and yeah, you can also see that the JSON schema has basically been parsed. Um, so this is parsed on the server by this doc string that we provided. You can also manually provide this as well um, if you prefer. And yeah, basically this is again why you need to actually um, upload the source code into Letta because um, now that the Letta server actually has this code, um, has these environment variables and also the PyPy pack, the right packages in the execution environment, it's actually able to run this as a tool um, for any Letta agent inside of this organization. You can also see the base dependencies of the sandbox environment in here. We'll be adding a lot more packages and also making it easier to add um, more dependencies and packages um, into the ADE soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and excited to see what tools you guys build.